welcome back to the topic principles of inheritance and variation in the last video we discussed about a sex determination today in this video we'll discuss sex linked inheritance what is a sex linked inheritance and how many types are there that we are going to study sex linked inheritance is classified into x linked y linked the examples are color blindness and hemophilia those things we are going to discuss so as we know in human body the nucleus of each cell of the human contains 46 chromosomes which are classified into 23 pairs and there are two types of chromosomes present 22 pairs of the chromosomes are called autosome and one pair is called as a sex chromosome or it is called as allosome autosomes will not play any role in the determination of the sex of an organism whereas a sex chromosome as just now we have discussed in sex determination xx will make organism a female and xy will make organism a male now if the autosomic genes which are present on the autosome the genes which are controlling somatic character by mistake by mutation if they get transferred onto the sex chromosome then it is called as sex linked inheritance so let's try to understand the process of the sex linked inheritance so as we know uh, determination of the sex in the human is by the xx and xy method xx is female and xy is male we have discussed this in sex determination so what happens in sex linked inheritance the characters which are going to control the somatic character they get transferred onto the sex chromosome somatic characters are inherited through the sex chromosome and that is called sex linked characters so this is a type of inheritance and that inheritance is called sex linked inheritance now this is sex linked inheritance inheritance which is there uh, can be absorbed through X chromosome that is the somatic characters can get transferred on to the X chromosome of the uh, chromosome that is X chromosome of the male or X chromosome of the female that is called X linked inheritance or genes may get transferred on to the Y chromosome of the male and that is called Y linked inheritance. So genes on the non homologous region of the X chromosome which are there they are called X linked genes on the non homologous region of y chromosome are called as a y linked y linked genes are also said to be whole and rig so this can be asked for one mark what is a whole and rig gene a genes which are present on the x chromosome are called as y that is whole and rig genes they get inherited through only y chromosome the best example for y linked inheritance is said to be high uh, that is uh, <coughs> Uh, excess hair on the external pinna which is called as uh, hypertrichosis and it gets expressed in the male okay that is hypertrichosis whereas x linked inheritance is a type of inheritance where the gene will be present on x chromosome the best example for that is color blindness and hemophilia Mostly it is seen in men because female becomes uh, homogametic she will have uh, XX chromosome whereas males are heterogametic they have only one X chromosome. If only one X chromosome of the male is having a gene uh, responsible for the disease then they will get a disease if female is having the gene causing disease on only one X chromosome she will become a carrier to become a diseased she has to uh, have the genes on both the X chromosome so since uh, X chromosome only one is there in a male they will be having more chance of getting the disease the color blindness that is inability in uh, identifying few colors or uh, the inability in uh, differentiating few colors is called color blindness uh, the best example uh, which is uh, very commonly observed is uh, dichromatism di means uh, two chromatism means color so here the person will be not able to identify two colors or he'll be not able to differentiate two color so the two colors are as uh, it is a signal traffic signal is shown it can be a red blindness or it can be a green 
in blindness so what happens in the red and green blindness the person will be not able to differentiate between red and green color cannot distinguish instead they'll be seeing around gray color the genes that produce this effect by mistake they'll be transferred on to the x chromosome if these genes are missing or are damaged then the person will get a disease color blindness will be expressed in males with a higher probability than in female as a female can become carrier to become diseased she should have a genes on both of her x chromosome so another example for uh, the x linked inheritance is a hemophilia which is called as bleeders disease so what happens whenever we come across with an injury blood oozes out but the bleeding will not take place more than a minute because there will be blood clotting factor and they'll help in the blood clotting but normal blood clotting what happens you can see red blood cells they get clogged and they'll not allow the blood to come out if blood fails to clot or it clots with very slowly then that is called as a disease called hemophilia and this disease is under the control of a gene which is recessive and will have a deficiency of clotting factors so the disease is called bleeders disease or it can be also called as royal disease as queen victoria was suffering with this disease there are types of hemophilia like hemophilia a which is called classical hemophilia uh, and that is due to the uh, absence of of the factor 8 then hemophilia b which is called christmas disease and that is observed due to the absence of factor 9 that is a clotting factor 9 hemophilia c that is due to the absence of the factor 11 okay in this video we discussed about sex linked inheritance x linked inheritance whereas in the next video we'll try to understand how the disease get inherited uh, from one generation to another uh, in this uh, slide in one of the slide criss cross inheritance was given what actually the meaning of that criss cross inheritance we are going to understand in the next video thank you students